Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome to Halcyon 6. It's an intriguing game coming to Early Access April 21st. A space strategy RPG. And I spoke with the devs and they said, Do you want to check this out? Yes, yes I do. As a matter of fact, that is exactly what I want to do. Also kickstarted it, so, you know, in the interest of full disclosure and all that. Um, I did play a little bit more than I usually would do for one shot, simply because... The early game, as in the moment you start, is not very... It's not as interesting as when you have multiple ships. I'll show you in just a moment. Let's, uh... You know, let's show you combat right now. Because that's what you're going to spend most of your time doing in this game, so... Is the combat fun? Yeah, that's a good question to ask. The answer is yes. It absolutely is. Now, this is actually a decent place to show you one of the interesting little mechanics they have going on. So, you see this, uh, Knight, uh, Engineering Starship. You see this, uh, Officer, and you see three abilities here. But when I put it in here, I get two extra abilities. Well, these two come from having this Officer on this ship. So, the higher level your Officers are, they get new skills which can add to your ships, which make them a little bit more flexible. And, uh, well, first of all, because I have been playing and, uh, things have happened, we have to repair our ships. So I'm just going to repair them using a resource called Dark Matter, which we have plenty of for now. Not sure that's going to stay the case for long. Oh, we got little tutorial messages. So the breakdown is you have engineering ships, science ships, and tactical ships. In general, science ships are about debuffs and healing. Engineering ships are about debuffs and taking damage in a massive way. Whereas the uh, tactical ships here, well, they are not suited to taking damage, but they do a lot of damage themselves. It's basically an RPG. You know, it's as you would expect. However, in terms of combat, things get a little bit interesting. Now you see this upload virus and see how it has damage and then the name of a system next to it? Well, that's because different enemies have vulnerabilities to damage to certain systems. So like if I target propulsion on these guys, they're vulnerable to that. Defensive systems, not so much. So what if we inflict some damage here to their sensors? They both resist it. That kind of makes it hard to demonstrate what I wanted to demonstrate. But you see where it says inflicts, and you see where it says exploits. If you inflict a condition, it creates a debuff on the enemy. If you then use an ability that exploits that debuff, then it does bonus damage. Allow me to show you. Knock down his engines. He took extra damage because their propulsion systems are vulnerable. And then this ability, Flak Barrage, exploits the fact that their engines are down. So we launch it. And not only does it do bonus damage, but it takes away the debuff. So you don't want to be using that too often or too early so that, say, if you put some damage over time on something, you don't immediately get rid of it and basically waste the ability. Now, because this thing's severely weakened, uh, I think it's only got like 50 HP left. Less than 121 HP left. Ah. I love the smell of blown up starship in the morning, evening, whatever time it is. So, breach this one's hull, and can I just say I really like the effects? I really do. I like what they've done just with pixel art. It kind of amazes me, and I shouldn't be amazed by this stuff, because pixel games have existed for a while. Hello. But yes, as I was saying, pixel art games have existed for a while, and they've been, you know, slightly amazing, apparently. I just haven't played enough of them. Incoming hypercast, though. Attention, Federation, this is Commander Willa, leader of the Wraithers, who we just murdered. He's gotta hate us. I detected that you just killed one of my subordinates. Well, lucky for you, that was already his intended fate. He won't be missed. Good. However, his ship will be. Well. In exchange for my letting that slide, come see me. I have a proposal for you, okay? Fair enough. Could do. Ah, now here is something interesting. 
So as you win more battles, and as your commander gets more experience, well, I say commander, officer gets more experience commanding their ship, they get new little abilities. Oh, not abilities. Little bonuses. Allow me to show you. So these elite crewmen, they come from winning battles. These affinity bonuses come from having more days in command of a ship. So the interesting thing is, if I remove this officer, I can reset all the affinity bonuses. So if I don't like the fact that they're good against yablings and slightly okay against Corzan, I can reset that. Traits, no idea what those are, but not worrying about that. I actually like this little mechanic here because it makes each ship develop in a interesting way. It's a little bit random, a little bit random, of course, because, you know, this one right now is a yabbling expert. It could have been a, what's the other species? Zlar expert or something else, some other species. In fact, if I remember right, yep, we have a Zlar hater and a troll tactician. Now, the troll are interesting little creatures. You see, the plot of this game is pretty simple. The Terran Federation, or the new Terran Federation, well, they uh, sort of took over things. And then, all of a sudden, something bad happened to them. Something very bad, and very unpleasant. Now, we at uh, Starbase Halcyon 6, we don't know exactly the status of Earth right now, but we know that there are these aliens who look like this and are really gross and need to die. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, by building up the Starbase, and by building up, I mean rebuilding, because, uh, well, yeah, it's a little bit ruined. It's all Precursor Tech 2, which is kind of interesting. It's interesting the idea that none of this technology is really ours, we're just sort of salvaging stuff from the archives. Let me show you where those are. This room. Which is also where we can unlock, say... I don't know, a Mender-class starship. We can research it, and then we have the ability to construct it if we so choose by going over here. Federation shuttle, that's nothing. That's actually a default ship to allow you to essentially recover from a bad situation where Everybody's dead. But now on the matter of the mender here. So we see the ship. It Actually, I kind of like that design. As I say, it looks kind of boxy, but I'm down with that. As for powers, it's got a welding laser. Interesting. Brace. I. What does that do? Brace for impact and reduce incoming damage. Okay, tanking abilities. And some that targets defensive systems and so is useless against the pirates. Great. Don't think I'm going to build one of those. But I could, in theory, if I wanted to. Now if we go over to Officer Quarters. All of them come with a little bit of a uh, background info. Kind of nice touch. I like the little, the little touches this game has. As far as traits, you know, basically they can unlock the ability to command ships. Although I'm very curious if something more is going to be added to this system later. Powers, again, you unlock different powers for your ships as your officers level up, as they gain more combat experience. And, as you can see from this screen, there is ground combat as well. Now, let me see if I can scare up some ground combat for us. Uh, I'm going to assign an officer, Genevieve. And just so we have uh, better chances of finding something, assign another officer, uh, you. Pandora. Okay. Now, unfortunately, time doesn't move forward in this screen. So we're going to go back to the star map twice, a little bit odd there, and we're going to let time pass for a little bit. Ah, wonderful. Pandora. Ahem. <clears throat> Commander, we've encountered some kind of creature. It's blocking our way and won't let us continue. What should we do? It's a Star Trek reference. Get it? Because this is kind of like Star Trek, except not really. So... Basically, you put your officers into combat with these organic-looking things that look awfully similar to the troll now that I'm looking at them. Hmm, wonder if there's a relationship there. And of course, if you run out of officers to add to the combat, because you only have three of them to start with, 
you can throw in these Republic Cadets. They, um, they're the red shirts, essentially. And for those of you who have actually watched Star Trek, you know what that means. For those of you who haven't, well, let's just say don't get attached to this nameless Republic Cadet. Yeah. Well, oh, nope, nope, she's dead. Almost survived a round. But, uh, no, not quite. Fortunately, the, uh, officers here are made of slightly sterner stuff. I don't know, maybe they actually get armor. Whereas the cadets, not so much. Yeah, I'm kind of right there with you, Pandora, because you really should have been able to hit him at least once by now. You've done no damage. It's a little upsetting. A little upsetting. So, do I have anything that's all enemies? I do, but it doesn't do much damage. This, however, does. So, smoke out. Whoa! Yeah, that's a big effect right there. Okay. So, that's happening. Um. Wow. Okay. Actually, I'm curious. Do I get a... I can't get a report on these. Because, you see, it uh, says it... Hmm... The abilities say, like, biological or mechanical, so I'm assuming that there are similar resistances to what we have in the space combat, but I can't tell. Or I just can't tell what these are. Which actually might... Mm, I feel like these little creatures are actually a key part of the plot that I'm just not understanding. Hmm. Worry about that later. For now, we're going to do one of the less interesting tasks that this game has for you, which is to send fleets out to uh, collect resources in order to actually, you know, maintain the, f mm, the fleet. I can't help but notice that there seems to be a enemy fleet coming. Hmm. Me and that are going to have some problems. So you actually return home because there's only one of you. But, yep, yep, that's uh, more or less what I thought was going to happen. So, hi, friends. I'm going to have to kill you. It's going to be very unpleasant for both of us. But I'm going to do it. Oh, uh, yeah, confirm. Yes, confirm. I don't care if they have to, you know, avoid building things. It's fine. Yep, some details on the troll. Who are the cause of the bad thing that happened? Well, potentially bad thing. We're not exactly sure what happened to Earth. We just assume unpleasantness happened. And my, these guys have a lot of HP. That is unpleasant. But oh well. Deconstruct this one. If we can kill that, that's less damage we have to deal with later. Now, do you see when I said that the... Uh, Troll remind me of those creatures that we saw on the starbase. They got the same eyes. I'm not sure. Not sure what's going on there. I feel like there are mysteries here that I am not privy to. And I am not a fan of that. Oh. Well. Don't worry, Pandora. You'll be fine. You just have to actually hit for once. That's a bit unfair. She did manage to hit one enemy once. Ah, oh, dear me. But no, it's fine, it's fine. It's all well and good. What are these actually weak to again? Vulnerabilities, hull, and resistance weapon systems. Well, that's uh, not an issue now. A bit more of the portal cannon if you don't mind, thank you. We'll finish this guy off, and then maybe we take a moment to figure out what happened to Earth. See what's going on over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, pathetic. Um, I mean, you're taking some uh, heavy damage there. This old day, you might, uh, yeah. Although I will say, I do love that when you get low on health, the ship actually takes damage, like, it aesthetically 
takes damage. That is a cool little feature they put in. So you see why I'm excited about this game? It's actually... It feels complete, whereas most of Early Access, let's be honest, is kind of garbage. Like, there's a considerable amount of not great games out there. Whereas this one... It actually mechanically is complete. At least seems to be complete. And it's fun. It's actually a fun game. With some tactical depth to it. I'm into that in a big way. Should probably have actually healed this one, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, let's sabotage this one. Do a little bit of bonus damage. Is that 108 over? Oh, it's 108 damage over four rounds. Not that great, but doesn't matter. He's going to be dead shortly anyway. You know, now we're actually going to do what I said I should and heal this one. Because we can. And a little bit of harassment. Why not? And then we can deconstruct. And next round, when we use our little portal gun, portal cannon rather, that should kill it. Wonderful. And there goes another troll fleet. Let's uh, transfer some fuel and uh, leave. They'll be fine. It'll all be just fine. Oh, hello. Uh, Commander, I'm sorry to bother you, but we found something strange in the fuel refinery plant. I'm attempting to do a Shatner. It's not very good. Very sorry. We don't really know what it is, but it seems to be some sort of excrement. Ew. In other words, feces. We have no idea where it came from, unless one of our engineers really had to go to the washroom. Ew. But it doesn't seem to be human. So, you, mm, okay. I'm going to order an investigation into that, because, uh, I would love to know what the hell, why, what's going on here. Is it something terrible? I bet it's something terrible. Anyway, right away, Commander. We'll send some of the, uh, stool samples to the lab. We'll let you know what we find. Acknowledged. Cool. Great. So the rooms apparently have events associated with them. Kind of interesting. But, uh, whoa, what the hell was that? Okay, not sure what that was about. But, as I was going to be saying, I think the way we end this is we return home and see exactly what's, uh, going on. So, the knight, the acolyte, the rogue, launch and repair them, please. Just in case. Oh, great, we have a repair bay now. That's not useful right now. I mean, it's great and all, but, you know. Oh, hey. Commander, the lab results on the feces found in the fuel refinery plant are back. Cool. Oh? It appears to be from a rather large creature that can digest pure starship fuel. Okay. Fascinating. A creature like this could be very dangerous, but also a boon to our scientific research, if we were to capture it and study it. Capture it. <laughs> yeah, Roger, we'll try to capture it alive, I just hope that our tranquilizer are strong enough for it. I mean, it eats starship fuel. Um, I have several questions about its... everything. Everything, in fact. Everything about that raises so many questions. But, we won't worry about that right now. Commander, our fleet is starting its approach now. I'll provide you with visuals. T minus 15 seconds, 14. Arriving now. Ah, well. Can't help but notice that the music cut out there. There it is. Commander, our worst fears have been validated. New Terra has been overrun by the troll. A mysterious emulsion seems to be caked over the entire planet. Ew. The planet itself seems to be spawning a kind of troll vessel we haven't seen before. Should we engage it or return to Halcyon 6? What are your orders? Well, naturally, we must attack it. It is a threat, and thus it must be killed. Upload a virus. A cedar whelp. Oh! 
Oh, I see, he says. Interesting. So the idea is that these things... Oh, for one thing, absolutely need to die now. Because they heal things. But also that they... Like, seed worlds with more troll? Is that what I'm getting out of this? And that the Earth is essentially being used as a nesting ground for these things? Hmm... Also, can't help but notice that they said new Terra, so is this not actually Earth? I was under the impression it was. Did you guys get me a off-brand Earth? Be very upset if you did. Oh! Okay. So we're all in a black hole now. But we're fine. Okay. I'll take it. You're just, like, regenerating health way too quickly. I am not having any of that. Portal gun. GLaDOS sends a regards. Oh, what the heck was that? I do not know why things are blinking. Okay, that's not good. Uh, let's exploit the fact that the engines are down. Good. It's nearly dead. It's almost dead. Just, just... Literally just need one more hit and I can kill this. And then we can find out what else there's going on at Earth. Or maybe just escape. I don't know. One or the other. And it's dead. Great. So, about these other ones. Uh, let's, uh... What are you? Are you tactical or not? Apparently tactical. So, presumably low health. I can't tell from this screen because it won't let me... There you go. Uh, ooh, you really need to be healed badly, sir. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. How about that? Cauterize the hull. Very good. And immediately takes another hit, but that's fine. Let's knock out the engines again. Oof. That, uh, that's a sad-looking ship right there. Let's put it out of its misery. That did not put it out of its misery as all. Oh, mm. well. That's an unfortunate thing. This, however, is not. I'm gonna harass him, and he's gonna die from it. Lovely. Now, as for the knight, um. Let's use this salved harpoon. I have never used it before. So, what is vulnerable? Ooh, less damage resistance. I like it. I like it. Conceptually, I enjoy this thing. And the nano field, which will provide how much regen? Okay, 111 per turn for four turns. Okay. Actually, we're just going to harass this. Take some more damage. Yep, good. Good. Not good, particularly, but still okay, I guess. Okay is what we're aiming for, really. But no, this thing's dead. It's just a matter of time at this point. Um, crippling shot. And maybe he lasts another round. Probably not, though. Black Barrage, and it's dead. Okay. Earth has been liberated. Wonderful. Haha. <laughs> yes. Well, let's find out. Continue. Um, okay, so this is definitely an off-brand Earth. Sir, during the course of the battle, we were able to pick up a faint signal from one of the capital moons, Orestes. It's specifically coming from a Hellbore mine at coordinate 1GHQ12. It may be that survivors are holed up there. Gonna stop things here, though. I am very fascinated both at the plot going on now and by what this game might become after further refinements. We're only on version 0.0.3.1. Mm, not sure I like that version number. But the point is, it's just starting early access. Again, April 21st. Link's in the description below if you want to give it a shot. I like it. I like what they've built here. I like the aesthetic. I like the theme. And I am kind of a fan of the combat system. It just hits all the right points for me. 
if I had to say as a game, you know, being released, uh, maybe at 10 bucks this might be worth it, but after refining it through early access, I don't know. This could be a very good game. But that's a matter for the future. For now, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I shall see you all soon.